So last week, I mentioned that there's no official way to convert 2D videos to 3D spatial videos, like how Apple does with AI image conversion in Vision OS 2. However, there are unofficial ways to watch your favorite shows and clips in spatial video, and I want to delve into those today. The first method is one that I've mentioned in the past, which is Moon Player's real-time AI video conversion. It doesn't require any long waiting times, just pull up the video and once you enable it, it'll show up in 3D right in front of you. As with most of the examples I show in this video, it's not perfect and can even be a little jarring at times, especially if it's a long video or doesn't have clear foreground and background. But I still think it's cool, and works well for shorter videos. It's free, and you can easily switch between 3D and the original. There's also Screenlit, which has a similar 2D to 3D conversion feature, but it costs $20. A pretty steep price, but in my experience I prefer the conversions that Screenlit is able to do compared to Moonplayer and others. I also enjoy the other features that are available in here, like a seamless connection to Plex, and a curved window. It still has imperfections, but it's the one I can spend the most amount of time with it kept on. If you want to try it out, there's a 2D free trial that lets you explore the different features, and I recommend it. The final type of 2D to 3D video conversion are apps that convert using the cloud or a local AI. These include Owl3D, something on device like Spatial Video Studio, or websites like Spatial Gen. Owl3D relies on your computer hardware to convert your videos to 3D by using downloaded AI models. It takes a while, but in my experience it produces some pretty good results. Spatial Gen is a similar deal but relies on the cloud, which is great if your computer hardware is from the 80s. And finally, Spatial Video Studio is a test flight app that lets you easily convert videos by using either the Vision Pro's M2 chip or the cloud. All three of these have subscriptions for unlimited video length and higher resolution. In my experience, I'd recommend Spatial Video Studio because it's the easiest to use since it's all done on the Vision Pro itself. Overall though, I just stick with Screenlit because it's real time and is all around a great video player. Anyway, Anyways, that's all for today, but make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know if you use any of these and what your thoughts are on them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and take care.